While I wait for my Pixel Buds to get here, I thought it'd be a good idea to share my thoughts on the Apple AirPods after almost a year of consistently using them. The market is starting to get flooded with wire-free earbuds, but even a year later, the Apple AirPods are still way ahead of everything else out there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and you can watch some of my other videos here after you're done watching this video. When the AirPods first got announced last year, they were ridiculed for their design. People said they looked like toothbrushes sticking out of your ear, and people also said the case itself looked like a dental floss dispenser. And people were also questioning if the $160 price tag was justified. But honestly, I don't think the AirPods look bad at all when you put them on, and they're well worth the money. They only look ridiculous when people wear them with the stems sticking out to the sides, like just tuck them in. But I know some people have to wear them like that so that they actually stay in place. But if you've never had a problem with your standard AirPods that come included with your iPhone, then you won't have a problem with the AirPods because they have the same shape. The only real difference is the length and thickness of the stem and minus the wire, obviously. The case has the same finish as the AirPods themselves, they're glossy white, and even after almost a year of using them, the case really only has some minor scratches. The hinge still opens and closes very smoothly, and there's no cracks or bumps on the case itself. But what I have noticed is that there's some stains that just won't come out. The AirPods themselves still almost look identical to when I first got them, but after some accidental drops, there are some scrapes on the top portion of the buds after they hit the pavement. The plastic is pretty soft on both the AirPods and the case itself. And every time I drop my AirPods and I find a new scrape on them, it really breaks my heart because I paid $160 for them. And these accidental drops have really only happened when I for some reason missed when putting the buds back into their case. Very rarely have the AirPods fallen out of my ears. The AirPods have really only fallen out of my ears when I was in a full sprint or if they got knocked out when I put on or take off a hoodie or sweater and I forget they were in. But again, if you have the right ear shape, then the AirPods stay secure almost all of the time. And personally, I find myself just leaving the AirPods in my ears all of the time as well. They're super lightweight, so you forget you even have them on. And if you're not playing music, they don't obstruct any of the surrounding sounds. If you get a phone call, you can just quickly double tap and answer the call right there. And if you just double tap, you can activate Siri and ask her to do something. And personally, I feel like a cyborg when I have them on. And just not having a wire to worry about when you have the AirPods on just gives you the sense of freedom that's really hard to put into words. Now, having a wire is even better when you're wearing a jacket you don't have to run it underneath or worry about it snagging on anything but not having a wire it does mean you do give up the inline controller found on the earpods and asking siri to raise or lower the volume pause or skip a track does take longer than it should it's not as seamless or as convenient when the airpods first came out double tapping either of the buds would only activate siri but through the magic of software updates you now have a few more options you can now make double tapping on one earbud do one thing and double tapping the other earbud do another thing personally I like to have my left earbud to skip a track and I have my right earbud activate Siri when I double tap. And when you take either of the earbuds out, they'll automatically pause your music and start playing again when you put them back in. Now, I just want Apple to introduce a triple tap option. I think it would really make the AirPods even more useful for power users. But one of the best features of the AirPods is the W1 chip. Aside from being able to pair to your Apple device is super easy, just being able to quickly swap from one Apple device to another is really cool. I can quickly switch from my iPhone to MacBook to iPad in a matter of a few taps in seconds. And more importantly, headphones that feature the W1 chip like the AirPods, PowerBeats 3, Beats X, Beats Solo 3, and Beats Studio 3s have the least amount of lag between video and audio when used with another Apple device, which matters a lot because other headphones I've used like the Sony 1000XM2, Bose QC35, or Bowers and Wilkins PX, you can notice some latency sometimes when watching videos. But for those who might need to pair the AirPods to a non-Apple device, all you have to do is press and hold the button on the back of the case and it'll put the AirPods into pairing mode. And battery life on the AirPods is good. A single charge will last you five hours when they're out of the case, and the case itself charges the AirPods. And on average, you can go about four days without having to charge the case itself. But after a year of using them, I have noticed the case doesn't hold the charge as good as it used to. So I do find myself charging the case more frequently than before with the same amount of usage. And traveling with the AirPods is convenient until their battery dies. There have been multiple times where I've just been sitting on an airplane or in an airport terminal just waiting for my AirPods to charge after using them for an extended period of time. But since they do have quick charging, 15 minutes in the charger will get you 3 hours of playback time. 
If you get the AirPods, it's because of convenience, not sound quality. Right off the bat, you'll notice the AirPods have significantly more bass than the wired earpods. They get significantly loud, but they do produce a lot of sound leakage. Overall, sound quality is decent enough. They don't sound tinny, but the mids do tend to get overpowered by the bass. Now, officially, the AirPods aren't waterproof or water resistant, but after a year of using them and getting them wet from the rain or sweating on them, I really haven't had a problem. But keep in mind, anything is waterproof until they're not, so don't get carried away. And personally, I would still recommend a pair of Power Beats over AirPods for working out. But one of my biggest problems with the AirPods is putting them in and realizing they don't have any battery in them because you forgot to charge the case. Sure, you can see the battery status of either earbuds and of the case in the widgets page, but I wish the iPhone would send you a notification when the case is low on battery. I wish I could make it so when the AirPods case is at 20% battery, I'll get a banner notification on my iPhone. This way, I know I should charge the case, but it's not as intrusive or as annoying as the pop-up notification you get when your iPhone gets below 20% battery. But I really do enjoy the fact that I can charge the AirPods case with the same cable I charge my iPhone thanks to the lightning port on the bottom. And just to jog your memory, Apple did quietly announce that this year's iPhone iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 keynote that there will be a new AirPods case with wireless charging and an LED light on the front. But there was no mention if this case would work with older AirPods or if the case would be able to supply you with more battery over the 24 hours the current case offers. Another thing I dislike about the AirPods is how much gunk they pick up from your ears. It can get pretty nasty and it's not that easy to clean out. I have to get really creative in order to get into those crevices. I found the best method for cleaning AirPods is using the corner of a folded paper or using the toothpick if I happen to find one lying around. I just wish Apple would include a cleaning tool to clean your AirPods because again, you're paying $160 for these things. But ideally, I would really like to see Apple redesign the AirPods so that they don't store as much gunk. I just wouldn't make the extrusion so deep. And perhaps an oleophobic coating would help as well. Now, for those wondering, yes, Find My iPhone does work with the AirPods, but only when they're outside of the case and in wireless range of your phone. Through the app, you can have the AirPods play a distinguishable ping sound if you happen to drop them in your car or if they fall under something, then you can locate them a little easier. But if the AirPods are inside of the case or out of wireless range from your phone, then you will not see them on your Find My iPhone map, nor will you be able to ping them. And I know a lot of people are going to use these to take phone calls, and the AirPods have one of the best microphones and a Bluetooth headset. I'll admit, when I first got them, they used to drop a lot of phone calls, but now their connection is stable and clear. And with the AirPods, you can have both or just one in at a time. And this audio clip is being recorded by the microphone on the AirPods, so you can be the judge of that. The AirPods had a shaky start. They were delayed, they were hard to get, and they were ridiculed at the beginning. But after getting so used to them, using your basic wired AirPods seems almost barbaric to me at times. A lot of people have accused Apple of not being as innovative as they used to, or that they're just playing catch up now. Just look at the HomePod. It's a meh looking smart speaker that has already been delayed. But Apple really did set the new standard for wireless earbuds with the AirPods. Because other wireless earbuds out there just aren't as convenient. Bose's and Sony's offerings are huge and the pixel buds are still connected to a wire. Sure, these current AirPods are probably gonna have to be replaced in a year or so, but the convenience and ease of use is well worth the $160 every two or three years or so. If you haven't gotten the AirPods, just bite the bullet and get them. For me, they're one of the top pieces of tech I can't go without. Just don't lose them or else you're gonna have a really bad time. If Apple is working on an AirPods 2, there isn't much I would change from the overall design. Ideally, I would like to see about a quarter of an inch come off of the AirPods stem. I wouldn't want to make the AirPods too small because then handling them might get a little harder. Actually taking the AirPods in and out of the case is when you run the biggest risk of actually dropping them. The overall footprint of the charging case is fine. It's easy to find and hard enough to lose, but I would like to see it get a little thinner. I just think it's too noticeable when it's in my pocket. And I don't know how long it's gonna take Apple, but I have a hunch they're going to stick a heart rate monitor in there. That might be the selling point for the AirPods 3. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It helps out more than you realize. For more product reviews and deal alerts, check out jimcaddy.net. If you want to support the channel, pick up a shirt, and I'll catch you next time.